At 38th and Peoria, there's a little reminder of how things used to be. Going to be for here? Yeah. What would you like to eat? Plot's hamburgers opened before the golden arches were everywhere. Times have changed. Claude's hasn't. I think while most places are trying to be trendy or, or improve or always trying to add, we're just trying to stay the same. And that's, sometimes that can be pretty hard to do. They have eight stools at the counter. They have four more facing Peoria. Few businesses could survive in such a tiny space. It's hard for families to come in as a family and sit together, you know. We have to try to work things out the best way we can. The man who started this hamburger stand was Claude Hobson. He began selling burgers on the east side in 1954, then moved to South Peoria. Claude is deceased, but the business remains in his family. One son, Cliff, is the owner and can often be found in the back room where he grinds meat and presses hamburger patties. There's son Robert who helps at the grill and whatever else needs to be done. How you doing, Jan? And a third son, Larry, who claims he's the most talkative. Well, I had a great teacher. My father was a great teacher. And uh, not only just the food part of it, but uh, with human humanity, you know, talking to people. He always had a story about when people come through that door, everybody's equal. And sometimes Hi. when regulars come through the door, they don't even have to order. Yeah. <laughs> the waitresses already know what they want. Yes, I was going to say, I do know his order. He gets a hamburger, onions, fried in, a regular hamburger, and a small order of fries. That's right. <laughs> the Hobsons will be the first to tell you they have no secret recipes. They say they use fresh ground hamburger meat, onions added upon request, and the burgers are grilled while the customer looks on. Pretty simple. The same way Dad was doing it in 1954. The good hamburger, good service. <laughs> They're old fashioned. <laughs> that's, that's what a lot of people tell us. You know that it's we're we're like uh, we're old reliable. You know that they know any time they come exactly what it's going to be. You know the menu's not going to change. Even though there are other hamburger stands around Brookside, Plants has a loyal following. Oh, people that ate with my dad like the first or second day out on Admiral in his first location, they're still coming in and we're seeing their grandchildren and great-grandchildren, so it's like four generations. Some people can't wait to bring their child when they're old enough to eat to get their first burger, they got to bring them here. So. so, a half century after Claude started serving hungry Tulsans, his family carries on his old-fashioned burger legacy. What would you like to eat? Uh, 